Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing out almost everything from One Size Beauty. So I bought the wipes and the spray remover online. And then within days he released another product. So I ran to Sephora and I bought the eyeshadow palette, one of the toppers, the eyelid toppers, and the eyeliner. So if you wanna see how these products work and my unbiased opinion, then just keep watching. So, like you just saw, I originally purchased the spray. I haven't even opened it. Like, I've had this for almost a week and I haven't touched it. That's how dedicated I am to showing my first my thoughts on camera. Um, so I bought this online and I want to say within like days or a week, he announced that he was coming out with something else and I'm like, slow down, I already bought. So I didn't want to pay for shipping again. So luckily my store ended up having it, which is surprising because I feel like my store never has anything. So we are going to be testing out the Go Off Makeup Dissolving Mist. We're going to be testing out the Go Off Juiciest Makeup Removing Wipes. And then we're going to be testing out the Visionary, Patrick Star Visionary Eyeshadow Palette, the Point Made 24 Hour Liquid Eyeliner Pin, and the Eye Popper Sparkle Vision Eyeshadow. So obviously, in order to use these products, I have to have makeup on and I don't. So we're going to wear this makeup or test it and try it and then I'm gonna wear it all day. Then I will come back at the end of the video and use these products at the end of the night to take this all off. So let's get into this. I'm like sweating because I literally just got back from Sephora and I'm like, I'm filming this now. Like it's three something in the afternoon. I haven't even put makeup on today. So because I ordered this online, it did come with his little cute, you know, post-it. So it says he's beyond excited to share one size. If you don't know, it's his mantra is one size, makeup is a one size fits all, which I love because as plus size, I get that feeling of like, there's a lot of stuff I can't have or I can't do or like with clothing, especially there's a, a lot of things I can't wear, so I do love the thought, and I kind of have that same process as makeup. Doesn't matter what size you are, you can wear it. So, let's just dive in. Okay, so I'm going to get this eyeshadow out so we can look at it. Um, it looks like it retails for $42, and this is the palette. It looks like it's just like a metallic pink, and then you have the logo, and it is curved, like he said in his video if you watched it. Um, he said that the reason was for nails, which, thank you. So this is the palette itself. Hopefully it doesn't throw my lighting off. <laughs> <sighs> I like that it's fairly neutral. Like, I feel like this is definitely something I could touch every day. And then it's got some, like, pops of colors for, like, when I'm actually feeling adventurous, which isn't very often, let's be real. So, I'm going to use that. Let me pull out everything else before we even start. That makes more sense, right? So this is his, now that the, my neighbor and the motorcycle are gone, I went ahead and just primed while he was doing that. So I just use a concealer because that's what I'm accustomed to using. I want to start getting back into using eyeshadow primers, but for, since I'm just now trying this out, I don't want to try out an eyeshadow primer and this just so I can see how this actually works based off of what I've, I'm accustomed to doing. So I just use a concealer. Back to the products. This is, what did I call it? The Eye Popper, so it's a Sparkle Vision eyeshadow. I got this in the shade Everything and More, which is the pink shade. I love the packaging of this, it looks so cool. Let me just swatch, ooh, that's nice. So this is, so pale. This is the shade, come on. There we go, uh, uh. I'm just too pale for my camera. I just, all right. And then we also have the Made Point bo Bodacious. Oh man. It's the Made Point Bodacious Black 24 Hour Liquid Eyeliner. And this is the liner. Ooh, that's very, very pigmented. The lady at the store is saying that it reminded her of Benefit Roller Lash, which I actually have. Oh wow. They are definitely identical. 
as far as the tip goes. I don't know about the formula inside, but the tip is the same, which I do like that tip, so I'm assuming I'm gonna like this as well. Let's stop talking and just actually get into this. Hmm, what do we want to use? So I'm thinking I'm gonna go in with soft serve because the taupe of my game is just a little too cool toned for me, for preference wise. So I think I'm gonna go in, ooh, or mango. <sighs> too many options. I'm gonna go with mango. We're gonna go in with this shade down here, which is kind of like a light, light brown with like a very, it looks like a hint of like yellow or something, like mustardy. <sighs> I have no brushes. I'm just gonna use this. Okay, so there is a quite a bit of kick up, which is not a big problem for me. I do want to mention it though in case it bugs you. Ooh, this is a very soft product because when I tap it off, it almost fully goes away. Yeah, so I'm not gonna really tap this off. It's going away too much. Oh, should I zoom you in? Let me zoom you in, how rude of me. Please, please be in focus. I swear. I need to get like a big monitor so I can see better than just like the little one on the camera because I broke the other one on accident. It was a TV and I accidentally dropped it and yeah. It still turns on, but you can't see anything. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. Now that I've laid kind of like a base, I think I'm gonna go in with Suede Charm, which is just a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna kind of build up the crease. I'm definitely gonna do a more neutral look because I wanna use that eye topper, which is pink. So we're just gonna put this pretty much in the same place, just a little bit lower. So far, these are blending out really nicely, which honestly, I wouldn't expect anything less. So that one is not giving me as much kickback, and when I tap it off, I still see it on the brush. It's just that mango shade that must be pressed a lot lighter because it definitely was coming off a lot on the palette, and then when I would tap it off, I literally could barely see anything left on the brush. I am gonna go, oh my gosh, there's an olive shade. How did I just now realize this? Do you see that? Matcha? <gasps> so pretty. We're gonna have to do an olive look with this later. I love olive. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Manila Sands, which is just this really, really light shade. This is pretty much my skin tone. So I'm gonna use that to kind of buff out the edges and blend it together with my skin a little bit better because I'm very messy and impatient, so I don't blend the greatest. So just, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I will tell you though, these are blending really nicely for my impatient ass. Now I'm gonna kind of deepen it up a little bit. I'm gonna go in with brownie, which is this, oh sorry, brown shade. We're just gonna deepen up the outer V a little bit more and also then kind of drag it onto the lid in the outer portion. And then I'm kind of gonna bring it up through the crease as well, but I'm gonna focus all the product in the corner and then with what's left, I will bring it up. And then I'm gonna go back in with the suede charm and just use that to kind of bluff, bluff, buff and blend everything together. Can you guys see or am I too whited out? I feel like I might be too whited out. Is that better? I'll have to let me know if this is better or worse. <laughs> I just turned down my light. Hopefully that helps. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it at this for now because I wanna go in with the lid topper and then we'll see what I need to adjust. I feel like I look really pale. Is that better? But then can I turn this up now? Whatever. So let me swatch some of the shades in the palette just so you can see the shimmers. So it looks like there's about five shimmers. We have a deeper gold, lighter goldish copper, but like a light, light, light copper. A pink, an olive, and like a purplish blue. So let's just swatch these. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting texture. Ooh hoo hoo. Okay, so these two, these first two, so title holder and everything, 
have like a little bit of a grainy texture when I swatched it, but then Walnut Strut was so smooth. So I'm wondering if they're different formulas. Ooh, all of it is the same formula as that other one that I just told you, they're both smooth. And then Rebel Gray is also the same. So those are the shades, let me, so I ran out of hand space, but these are the colors. Hopefully you can see them. They're really, really pretty, but we're not gonna use those. <laughs> we're gonna use the eye topper. And I don't think I told you the pricing, so let me see the pricing for the eye topper. Eye popper, sorry. It is $22 for this. So you better be bomb. That's all I'm saying. Let's go ahead, pop this on. Ooh. She's definitely darker than I thought it was gonna be, but still really pretty. Okay, so this is just one layer of it. I don't know if you can see very well. Definitely need to put more because it's extra sparkly here and not so much in the middle. I feel like if there's one makeup product I love the most, it's glitter eye toppers. I feel like they can elevate a look so easily and so effortlessly. This one definitely had more product when I dipped it back in. So this is just one swipe or one side with this one, but I am still gonna put a little more. And then I like to kind of feather it out on the outer edge just because it'll help me blend when I put the shadow to blend it. Oh my gosh, that color is so pretty. Kind of regretting doing mango now because it's not really matching very well. It's kind of too yellow toned with pink, but it's okay, it's okay. You know, I'm not going anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face now so that we can do the lower lash line and then we'll work on liner because I I can't do liner and then do my face, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I'll be right back. So I went ahead and did lips too, but I don't really think I like this combo together with the pink, but I'm too lazy to change it, so if you wanna know what it is, it's Dominique Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Nude Kiss, and then it was just too peachy pink to match the eyes, so I tried to add Marc Jacobs Gloss on top of it, but still not really, not really doing it for me. I mean, I love the color, just not with this. Anyways, let's go ahead and do my lower lash line. And of course, there's gardeners now. There's construction in the morning and gardeners now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with brownie first, the dark shade along my lash line. I hope that isn't too loud for you guys, but I feel like my makeup's almost done. I can't really just stop and come back later. So we're gonna finish this. I'm sorry if the noise bugs you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with Suede Charm to blend this out. Normally when I do a liquid eyeshadow, I don't do a liner on top. However, I want to try this liner. <laughs> so we're gonna do it anyways. I feel like it's gonna look weird because just to me, when it's a liquid eyeshadow like this, I just leave it. So it's probably gonna look weird, but I wanna test this. And like I said, I'm not going anywhere, so I don't care if it looks weird. So, the liner, I didn't tell you the price. Let me look that up. Liner is $19, which actually isn't that bad. Okay, let's go ahead and try this. Okay, dare I do a wing? I mean, I already feel like this looks weird, so we might as well just go for the wing, right? Fuck, I'm gonna mess this up. I might have to fast forward through this. Like, I feel pressure of you watching me. Holy shit. So I will say it is leaking pretty bad. Like, in the cap. I don't know if it's just because it's so juicy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try the other eye. I'm just gonna do it off camera. This is my bad eye, so this is the eye I always mess up. And then I have to fix and make it bigger, which then I have to go make this one bigger. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, my camera died in the middle of that, so I don't even know if you're in the same distance. So, it did what I expected. This side was hard to do and sucked, and I messed it up. So this is very, very, very pigmented. So I just barely touched in the wrong spot, and I had 
it everywhere. This does not come off, so I ended up being able to use the eye topper with a brush and was able to kind of like clean up those areas. <laughs> um, holy crap. That is all I have to say for this is holy crap. Like, I have a problem with eyeliner on this eye. That didn't change. I still have the problem. But it was a lot easier to use. Um, because my problem with this eye is actually on the lid space. It's just, this like has extra skin. Or I don't know what it is. But it pulls and it skips because of the skin. But this side doesn't. So this side is always my like great side. This side not so much. But this side with the wing part was actually really great which normally still gives me trouble on this eye but this time with this it did not give me trouble it did give me trouble here but that's like I said that's my my lid on this side and also just like I have this huge thing in the way so getting over here to be more precise is hard in general um, but this eye turned out awesome like I mean that was probably the easiest I've done a wing liner in a long time like this Ease was me doing wing liner for months straight. Like, that's how easy this side was. I am having one downfall with this, and I'm hoping that it's just I got a faulty one. I'm going to call Sephora and ask if they've heard anyone else say this, because if they have, then I'm going to ask them to replace this. But this is leaking everywhere. I've cleaned it up here, but you can see in the cap, it's like leaked everywhere. And I just realized right before I turned the camera back on, there was a huge spot on my desk from this. Like, it's still stuck on my fingers from wiping it. I'm hoping that it's just I have a faulty one. I'm, like I said, I'm going to call, see if that's the case, and if they can give me a different one. Um, because this is fucking amazing. I promised I would stop cussing, but this is amazing. That one I definitely think is worth the money. Okay, let's talk about the other stuff. Um, I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on them first, and then like I said, I'll come back at the end of the day, and we're going to do the other products, and then I'll give you my opinion on those at the end of the day. Hopefully this video isn't too long for you. Sorry if it is. Alright, first let's start off with the palette. So, first things first, I love the indent that he chose. So, it's kind of annoying because I'm just so accustomed to grabbing in the middle, and the middle is flat, and so it's kind of like weird, but... If you just, you know, get yourself accustomed, it's really nice to be able to open it with nails. It has this huge mirror, which is really nice. And then I actually think the colors are really, really pretty. This is something I would gravitate more often than a bright-ass colorful shadow palette. But then I still kind of have, like, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> ow. I still kind of have, like, the pop of blue that I could use. And then it also has different color stories. You know, you have the golds, you have the bronzes, you have olives like I really really like this palette and I do think it's worth the money the shadows blended out amazingly like amazing and that's for my impatient ass who just like slaps it on and calls it good um the other product the eye topper I really really like this um it's still holding up it's been a while since I put this on because you know I did my whole face and then it's been a while so it's still holding up nicely so far. Only been an hour, if that. I do like that it didn't have any glitter fall down. So that's nice because I do have some liquid shadows that after a while of it drying, the glitter falls down. So I have not had that. It is very pigmented that <laughs> using a brush, I was able to cover my liquid liner that I messed up. Like, that's impressive. So I do really like this. I'll tell you... I love these products, but it is always hard for me to spend over $20 on them. So I will tell you the price feels steep to me, but the quality is really, really nice. So it's kind of more of a preference for you. If you think you can afford to spend that and you want this product, I definitely think it's worth it. But, you know, like I said, that's kind of a steep price. And, you know, it's on par with others, but it's just one of those products that for me, it feels hard to buy something over $20. So that's why I'm saying it would be a preference thing. So, that is all the eyeshadow and makeup products. Well, there was two others there's that I didn't buy. I am now going to go throughout the rest of my day. It is 4 o'clock. Wow, the day went by. Uh, it is 4 o'clock now, so I'm going to go throughout the rest of my day, and then we'll come back, and we'll test off, test off? We'll test the spray and the wipes 
to take all of this off. So we'll be right back. So it is time to take off my face. So I wanted to just go over these products real quick. So the makeup dissolving mist is $24 and the go off wipes are $15. So I bought the bundle, which is $39. Before I spray this, let's talk about these. Um, he said that these are about almost double the size of a standard one. And then he was also mentioning about the packaging, how it has this opening as well as a resealable opening here. Open this guy. Let's just rip that off. So let's take one of these out and then I'm gonna shove this white thing back on pop it down so this is the wipe it is definitely gigantic i would say it is about double of my standard so the one that i typically use is at costco it's their kirkland brand so it is the same concept it has this little opening um it does not have a resealable though this just, you pinch the sides to open this. Let's just go ahead and do this. How does it say to spray? Hold the spray eight to in 10 inches away from the face until evenly coated. To apply like Patrick, spray in an O and then an S. Massage into skin and gently wipe off. Double down on stubborn makeup by pairing it with the wipes. Okay, so I'm gonna take off my ring. Don't really wanna get that nasty. Do I need to shake this or anything? It's just such a habit to want to shake it. All right, let's just spray it. Oh my gosh. Why has nobody talked about that? It feels like you're spraying powder. That is such a weird feeling. Like obviously you can immediately see I looked soaked, but this felt like I was spraying a powder on my face. I was not expecting that. God damn it, go on. There we go. All right, and then it says rub it in. Oh, whoa. That's like immediately coming off. Okay, just to be honest, this is how it says to do it, but I know myself I'm not gonna really want to rub it in with my hands. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish, first wipe it off on this. But I'm just gonna finish taking it off with the wipe because that's just how I would do it. Okay, true test is the eyes. Whoa. That took off pretty easily. I mean, obviously there's still some left, but. Wow, that actually came off pretty nice. Okay, so all of my makeup is off now. Um, let's talk about these products. So let's start off with the eh. Um, it's gonna be the wipes. So, did they perform? Yes, they performed. They took off my makeup. Would they have performed as easily without the spray? I'm not sure. Um, so these are called the Juiciest Makeup Remover, and the way he was explaining it is it's a different type of material. It's more of like a cloth material, so it's supposed to absorb the juices in here more. I'm hoping that this is just kind of like a, because it's the top one, um, it actually wasn't that juicy. There is definitely spots and more towards like the center section was juicy, but a lot of the edges and just some spots were kind of almost dry. And I know with standard ones like these that I use, the first, you know, there's 30 in here. So the first like maybe five of them aren't as wet as like the bottom is soaking. So I'm wondering if this is the same case, and if so, I just sit mine upside down, so that way the juice is kind of come out towards the one that I'm gonna be using first. So I'm hoping that that was just what the case was with this, because there are some spots of it that did feel really juicy. Hate that word. Um, but other spots did feel kind of dry. So I'm thinking if it's as juicy as it's supposed to be, I'm just assuming all of the juices are at the bottom and I'm just gonna keep it upside down. However, I personally don't think I'm gonna buy them again um, just because even though they are double the size of a standard one, 
I still am only going to use one at a time. So for me to spend $15 doesn't feel worth it. When I spend about 30, 40, 30 or 40, I can't remember exactly. I want to say it's like 30 something for a box a box at a box at Costco of 150. I will say though, these did not irritate my eyes and sometimes if the other ones have too much juice in them, so I, I try to remember to wring them out, but sometimes I forget to wring it out. Um, they will kind of sting my eyes somewhat, so these did not do that, so that is a very big bonus. I just feel like price-wise for me, I can't justify it, but if you can justify it, these are actually really good. So, let's talk about the spray. I love the spray. Um, it was really weird and interesting for it to come off feeling like a powder. Like, I haven't heard anyone mention that. Granted, I haven't watched any videos except for I think Patrick and then one other person and I don't remember who so I wasn't expecting that because when you see it go on it just looks it makes you wet looking so you assume it's a waterish spray but no 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 this felt like powder um, I typically use a balm right now first and then use the wipe to take it off so it's car kind of already how I do a process so a spray would just be cleaner because I wouldn't have to touch it so like I said, I know this recommends massaging it in. I just wouldn't. So I do really like that it's in a spray. So I probably will be repurchasing this. So yeah, that is everything I bought from the One Size Beauty that Patrick Star has created. And yeah, the majority of the stuff I like. I think there was only one product that I would be hesitant on buying again, which is the wipes just for the price point. So yeah. That is all I have for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.